God. Heavenly Father, we praise you this morning. Let praises rise from the inside of us. Let praises rise. Father God, may you delight in the inside of me. Yes, Almighty God, may you delight in the inside of us because you desire truth in the inward parts. We are coming by the blood of Jesus this morning and asking, oh God, that you would cleanse us in the inner man and that, Lord, as we honor you this morning, May we honor you in spirit and in truth. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, may you cleanse us, oh God, in the inner man. May you wash us in the inner man. May you wash us with the washing of the water by the word of God. Uh, may you perfect that which concerns us uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father God, uh, we want, oh Lord, uh, your name to be glorified. Uh, we want you to be lifted higher, uh, even in the midst of your children, that you would take your place, oh God. Ragado uh, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, uh, Father, we thank you. We honor you. We worship you. Uh, be thou exalted King of glory. Be thou magnified the ancient of days. Uh, be lifted on high. Uh, you are worthy to be praised. Uh, you are worthy to be magnified. Uh, you are worthy to be reverenced. Uh, you are worthy. You are worthy. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says in John 3, 3, Jesus said to them, unless a person is born again, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, sanctified, he cannot ever see and experience the kingdom of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are coming this morning under the covering of the blood of Jesus. Let each and every one of us, oh God, come to you in that state of spiritual renewal. May we be transformed from above. May we be renewed and sanctified you say oh god unless one is born of the water and the spirit he cannot ever enter the kingdom of god father thank you lord for the water and the spirit the water of your word and the spirit of god who renews us who washes us we thank you for renewal this morning in the name of Jesus, uh, you said whatever is born of the flesh is flesh, is physical. It cannot do anything beyond the physical. But whatever is born of the spirit is spirit. Uh, Lord, this morning, uh, I thank you for the presence of your spirit. Uh, enable us, oh God, uh, to submit to the spirit, uh, to walk by the spirit, uh, to live by the spirit, uh, to respond to the promptings of the spirit, uh, to respond to the leadership of the spirit. Uh, for you say in Romans 8 14 as many as are born of the spirit uh, as many as are led of the spirit uh, they are the sons of God uh, the proof of sonship uh, is that we are led by the spirit uh, Holy Spirit lead us this morning lead us once again uh, John testified in John 3 27 and said a man can receive nothing he can claim nothing at all unless it has been granted to him from heaven for there is no other source than the sovereign will of God father we come to you this morning because Lord, we can receive nothing except that which you have given to us. And so, Lord, we submit ourselves to you this morning. We submit to your leadership. Holy Spirit, we submit to you. Father in heaven, we submit to you. Lord Jesus, as the head of the church, we submit to you. We present ourselves to you this morning. We surrender to you. 
We submit to you. We can receive nothing. We can claim nothing unless you've granted it to us. We cannot go beyond that which you have given us. And so, Lord, we submit ourselves to you this morning in the name of Jesus. In John 3.30, John said, For Jesus must increase in prominence, but I must decrease. Lord, may you increase. May you increase. May you fill our lives to the point that, Lord, it is you people see and not us. May you increase. May you increase, O oh God. Glorify your name in our lives. May you increase. Increase, O oh God. And may we decrease. Father, glorify your name. Glorify your name. Eshala masukalabosia. Mazekete lebokura papapapapa. Jandula masanga. Lord Jesus, you said if you are lifted up from the earth, you will draw all people to yourself. You will draw all men unto yourself. Lord Jesus, draw men to yourself this morning. Draw us to yourself this morning by the cross leke seke lega do savra dus kabaraba imbaru gada seke telebosia marogo do sokondo robosia malega dosia maraga dosia marega dosia arika dosia livrando lobo kurra baba baba jamus kambalega dosia we praise you, we praise you, we praise you, Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, come, Lord, come, Holy Spirit, delight in us, delight in us by the blood of Jesus. Sheke le bakura baba si kande le bosi ikando lo bokura baba 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 makura baba 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 ikale basi andara bosi maseke tele bosi mashaka balega dosi in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray amen in the book of John fourteen John fourteen from verse thirty Jesus said I'm reading in the Passion translation. He said, I won't speak with you much longer for the ruler of this dark world. Satan is coming, but he has no power over me. He said he has no claim on me. He has nothing to use against me. There is nothing in me that he can use against me. He says, I am doing exactly what the father destined for me to accomplish. So that the world will discover how much I love my father. Child of God, can we say the same thing this morning? That I'm doing exactly what the father destined for me to accomplish. So that the world will discover how much I love my father. Jesus said, I do exactly as the father has commanded me. I act in full agreement with the father. That's what it says in the Amplified Version. I do exactly as the Father has commanded me and I act in full agreement with the Father so that the world may know without any doubt that I love my Father. Let us come to our Father in prayer. Is there anything I'm doing that is not exactly what Father has asked me to do? Is there anything I'm doing that is not exactly what Father has destined for me to accomplish? Because he said, if you love me, you will do my commandments. That the proof of love is doing his commandments. Let's come to the Father in prayer and to the Lord Jesus. Father, we just want to repent, O God, of anything we have done that is not exactly what you've asked us to do. Lord, you said if we love you, we will follow your commandments. You will do, we will do exactly what you said. Anyway, Lord, where we have not obeyed completely, where we have not obeyed 100%, Lord, we pray for mercy this morning. We pray that you would cleanse us, O oh God, that you would forgive us, Almighty Father. Cleanse us, O oh Lord, where we are not walking in full obedience. We ask for mercy, Lord. You say to obey is better than sacrifice. To hearken is better than the fat of rams. Lord, help me to walk in obedience. Help me to walk in your truth. Help me to walk in your ways. May I obey, Lord, the word of God. May I obey. 
Hallelujah. May I walk in obedience in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever the Father wants me to do, may I do it without wavering. May I do it without amending the instructions in the name of Jesus. Father God, anyway, we are walking in disobedience. Holy Spirit, reveal to us this morning. Reveal to your children. Reveal to everybody on this platform, oh God. Anyway, we are not walking in agreement with your ways. Anyway, we are not walking according to your truth. Anyway, we have amended the assignment. Lord, help us in the name of Jesus. Oh God, help me to do exactly what you have destined for me to accomplish so that the world will discover how much I love my father. May I walk in perpetual love. Lord, you said in Romans 5, 5, that the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts by the power of the Holy Spirit. May we walk in the love that you've put inside of us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. And then the Lord Jesus said, the, the evil genius ruler of this world is coming, but he has no power over me for he has nothing to use against me. I want us to pray this morning. Does the evil prince of this world have things to use against you? Does he have things that he knows about you? Things that you've said, things you've done, things in your bloodlines that have been said or done that he can use against you? Does he have legal grounds to accuse, to resist, to oppose? and to hinder. Let's come by the blood of Jesus this morning and ask the Father in heaven to cleanse us, cleanse our families, cleanse our bloodlines of every sin, of every transgression, and every pattern of iniquity. Anything that the evil genius ruler of this world could use, uh, anything that could give him power over us, we are coming by the blood uh, and we are asking God to strengthen us uh, that we will not continually give Satan power over us. We will not continually give him legal grounds over us. Let's begin to pray according to John 14 verse 30. Father, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus upon my spirit, my soul and body. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my spouse, spirit, soul and body, upon my children children, spirit, soul, and body upon my children's children, upon my bloodlines. Oh God, every bloodline that I'm connected to by birth, by marriage, by covenant relationship, I plead the blood of Jesus upon all my prayer partners this morning. Every child of God, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. Everything that the evil genius ruler of this world has against us, we confess it as sin. We repent, oh God, and we ask for your mercy. We ask that you would cleanse us, oh God, of every form of unrighteousness, uh, everything uh, that the evil genius ruler would be able to use against us this morning. Father, we repent. Uh, we pray for mercy. Forgive us, O oh God. Have mercy upon us, O oh Lord. Have mercy upon us. Every sin, every transgression, everything that will cause us to become slaves of the enemy. Lord, we are confessing it as sin and asking the blood of Jesus to cleanse us from every form of unrighteousness. Makura baba basi, masekere bosi, mazukara boshala masi, makura baba 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 baba, leke sekele bosi, mazikanda la bosi, makura baba basi kanda la bosi. Cleanse us, O oh God. Cleanse us, Adonai. Sheke tele kalika si, makura baba 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 si, makura baba 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 si, ikalivra duska balega dosi, maroko dosi andaraba. Every legal ground uh, that the enemy would be able to use uh, against us, uh, against our bloodlines, uh, Father, we confess it as sin. We repent uh, and we ask for mercy. Whatever would give the enemy power over me. Power over my family, power over my bloodlines. I am pleading the blood of Jesus and praying for mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Child of God, I want to give us some examples of things that the evil genius ruler of this world can use against us. When we go to Matthew 5, when the Lord Jesus was teaching on the Sermon on the Mount, he told us so many things there. And we can see that from what he taught, the standard is perfection. The standard is perfection. When there is no perfection, we are, we are at risk. And every day we, 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 we fail in one way or the other. And we are coming to the Lord in prayer so that these legal grounds can be removed. I want you to ask the Lord, Lord, anything that I'm doing that from my heart, 
is not full of truth, is not full of the righteousness of God. You know, you can see from what Jesus was teaching us in Matthew 5. It's about our heart. It starts from our heart. It's not even about what you said or did, but from the heart. What started in the heart? Was it the right motive? Was it the right thing? Let's begin to ask God, Father, Lord, anything in my heart that diminishes what I do that reduces my righteousness, anything in my heart, oh God, uh, that is defiling me uh, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks uh, and out of the heart uh, come the, the thoughts uh, of murder, of envy, of evil, of hatred, of malice. Uh, Lord, whatever is in our heart uh, that is reducing the standard of our righteousness, uh, we submit ourselves uh, to the heart surgery of almighty God. Uh, and we are asking this morning, uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, discover whatever is inside of me and let it be judged uh, under the covering of the blood of Jesus in the courts of heaven. Whatever I'm entertaining in my heart uh, that diminishes uh, my righteousness status. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, I am submitting myself uh, to heart surgery this morning. Uh, oh, God, uh, open up my heart uh, and see if there's any wicked way in me. Search me, oh, God, and know me and see, Lord, uh, if there's any wicked way in me and lead me in the path everlasting. Search me, O God. Uh, search all my thoughts. Uh, search my mindset. Uh, search my subconscious mind. Uh, search the things inside of me. Search the way I think, uh, the way I believe, uh, the way I reason. Uh, search, O God, the, the things I'm meditating on. Search me, O God, uh, and see if there's any wicked way in me. Lord, the prince of this world must find no lending grounds in me. They must find no reason to be able to hinder me, to be able to resist me, to be able to work against me. I am asking in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, deliver me. Lord, cleanse me in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Jesus said in Matthew 5, Matthew 5, verse 20. For I say to you, remember the Pharisees and the scribes, they used to keep the letter of the law. They were very religious about keeping the letter. We were told that if they are tithing, they will even tithe the spices in their house. They would take the spice, the white pepper, the black pepper, the cumin. They would measure it and, and tithe it. They were serious about keeping the law. But the Lord Jesus said, for I say to you, unless your righteousness, your uprightness, your moral essence is more than that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. How does our righteousness exceed that of the scribes and the Pharisees who were good at keeping rules. They were good at keeping rules. Jesus is saying it's not about keeping rules. It's about your heart. The hearts of the Pharisees were covered in pride, in self-righteousness, in all kinds of, you know, covetousness. They loved money and all sorts. And Jesus is saying it's not good enough for externally for you to look like you're ticking all the boxes. But what is going on in the heart? Your righteousness must exceed that of the Pharisees. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Lord, help me. I will not live my life uh, to act unto the world. Uh, I will not live my life uh, as a hypocrite. Uh, it's not about the external act, uh, but what is going on in my heart. Uh, child of God, you can be quiet, uh, but in that quietness, be saying the wrong thing in your heart. Uh, child of God, you might never quarrel with anyone, but in your heart, in your mind, you've quarreled with dozens. Uh, what is going on in my heart? Uh, Lord, help me. You say, unless my righteousness will exceed that of the Pharisees, uh, that we will in no wise enter the kingdom of heaven. Lord, by the blood of Jesus, uh, we ask for your perfection. Uh, Lord, perfect that which concerns us. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we lean on the everlasting arms. Uh, we lean on the spirit of holiness. Uh, we lean on you, Lord, because we cannot do it on our own. Uh, we cannot do it on our own. Uh, we cannot transform ourselves. Uh, change me, O oh God. Uh, transform me, O oh God, uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, change me, Lord, uh, into the image of your son, Jesus. Uh, according to 2 Corinthians 3 uh, verse 18, uh, but we all with open face beholding as in a glass uh, the glory of the Lord. Uh, we are being transformed, transfigured uh, into the same image of the Lord Jesus uh, uh, from glory to glory by the Spirit of the Lord. Uh, let the Spirit of the Lord transfigure us this morning. May we be transfigured uh, as we look into the perfect law of liberty. May we be transfigured uh, as we read these scriptures. Uh, may we be transfigured uh, to look more like the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Uh, may we be transfigured uh, to look like 
like Jesus. May we be changed in the inner man. Unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven, Jesus said. Today, Lord, we lean on you. We lean on you so that our righteousness will be, Lord, more than just acting. It will be more than just outward acts, but it will start from the heart. That we be transformed in the inner man. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Remember our scripture is John 14 30. The evil genius ruler of this world is coming. He's already around the world. But the Lord Jesus said he has no power over me. For he has nothing to use against me. You and I we are praying so that the enemy will have nothing to use against us. Against our bloodlines and against the church of God. Jesus said in Matthew 5 21. You have heard that it was said to the men of old, you shall not murder and whoever murders shall be guilty before the court. But I say to you, everyone who continues to be angry with his brother or harbors malice against him shall be guilty before the court. And whoever speaks contemptuously and insultingly to his brother, whoever says Raka, you empty headed idiot, you fool, shall be guilty before the Supreme Court. And whoever says you fool shall be in danger of hell fire. So if you are presenting your offering at the altar and while there, remember that your brother has something such as a grievance or a legitimate complaint against you. Leave your offering there at the altar. And go first make peace with your brother and then come and present your offering. Child of God, the Bible is saying every offering we give, every prayer we pray, every song we sing will become useless. If we know that there is offense hanging somewhere, 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 let us come to the Lord in prayer. Bible says it's not even that you've actually took a knife and gone to kill them. If you are angry in your heart. You are harboring the anger. You are harboring the malice. You are guilty before the courts of heaven. And if you are speaking contemptuously or insultingly about your brother or sister in Christ, even behind their back, calling them idiot, fool or whatever else, it says you are guilty before the court, before the Supreme Court. And if you call anybody a fool, you are in danger of hellfire. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Let's begin to repent of anything that we have harbored against people. Is there anyone that you are angry with? Anyone you are carrying any grievance against any offense? Is there anyone you are harboring malice against? Let's begin to come to the Lord in prayer. One thing that I discovered about forgiveness is that it's not about an emotion. It's about an act of our will. You don't need to feel like forgiving. You don't need to feel anything. But by an act of your will, you can begin to pray and say, by an act of my will, I forgive anyone who has offended me. By an act of my will, I release them from the prison of my self-righteousness. By an act of my will, I release them. I let them go. I set I set them free in the name of Jesus. Anyone I'm harboring malice against, anyone I'm angry with, anyone I'm resentful of, Lord, I forgive them. I choose to forgive them. I exercise my will in forgiveness. I choose to let it go. I choose to let it go. You know what? I've learned one thing, child of God over the years people don't even need to say sorry i don't wait for anybody sorry i choose to forgive you i choose to let it go because if you wait for sorry it might never come so you're not gonna wait for sorry this is about your own spiritual life it's about your own spiritual health it's about your spiritual mot do you want to remain with legal grounds for lucifer to to exploit her no let's begin to let it go father by an act of my will i let it go we choose to surrender every right to being offended. We choose to surrender every desire for revenge, every desire to get even with them. We surrender it, oh God, by the altar of sacrifice. We surrender under the blood of Jesus. We let it go. Anyone who's offended us, we let it go. Father God, we repent of holding any malice against anybody. We repent of any insulting behavior, any contemptuous 
ours behavior towards anyone, anyone that we've insulted, anyone we've been contemptuous of, we repent of it, oh God, we let it go, we plead the blood of Jesus, any words we've used to describe people that are not of God, we are repenting of it and we plead the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus cleanse us from every form of unrighteousness, every unforgiveness, every anger in the name of Jesus, every resentment. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray that you even cleanse our bloodlines. Some of our bloodlines are famous for anger. Some of our bloodlines are famous for resentment. Some of our bloodlines are famous for reviling and insulting people. Father, have mercy on, upon us. Last night, one of my sisters was showing me this message that somebody wrote. Pages and pages of insults. Some of our bloodlines, they are full of that. We insult people in our bloodline. And some people can really insult people. Father God, we repent uh, on behalf of our bloodlines, uh, on behalf of our family lines. Uh, Lord God Almighty, where we have harbored anger, malice, hatred, uh, where we have, oh God, insulted people, called them names uh, in our bloodlines. Uh, we repent, oh God, we are asking the blood of Jesus uh, to cleanse all of these insults away, to perfect our bloodlines, uh, remove the spirit of anger, remove the spirit of hatred and malice, uh, where, oh God, uh, brother brother is murdering brother through their words, through their anger, through their hatred. We repent, oh God, of these murderous behaviors in the name of the Lord Jesus. Makarabosia, whatever Lucifer has against our bloodlines, Father God, we pray for mercy. We pray for mercy. We pray for mercy. We ask for mercy. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Bible says in Matthew 5, 25, come to terms quickly. At the earliest opportunity with your opponent at law while you are with him on the way to court so that your opponent in the in the King James, it says, agree with your adversary quickly. That word adversary describes the ministry of Satan. Agree with your adversary quickly whilst thou art on the way to court. In the in the in the Amplified, it says your opponent. Whoever is opposing you, agree with them quickly whilst you're on the way to court so that your opponent doesn't hand you over to the judge and the judge to the God and you are thrown into prison. Jesus said, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, you will not come out of that prison until you've paid the last cent. Now, this prison is not necessarily talking about a physical prison. It's also referring to spiritual prisons. If we know that anyone is accusing us of anything. The safest thing to do is to confess the accusation as sin and ask the blood of Jesus to cover it rather than defending yourself. They said, oh, sister so-and-so is proud. And then you spend 10 hours defending yourself and how humble you are. In the midst of the defense, there will be 1% of pride and Satan will use that 1% in the courts of heaven to hinder your destiny and delay your prayers. You know, whatever people accuse you of, you might be guilty of it, not point, not 0.5% of it. And Satan will still use that small percentage to resist you. So this morning, I want us to pray, Lord. Whatever my opponents, my adversaries are accusing me of, whatever Satan even himself and his agents are accusing me of, whatever they are accusing my bloodlines of, Lord, I confess it as sin and I apply the blood of Jesus upon it and I ask the blood of Jesus to cleanse me from all unrighteousness in the name of the Lord Jesus. They say you are proud. I confess pride as sin and I ask the blood of Jesus to cleanse me of pride. Lord God Almighty, they say that I didn't help them. I confess whatever accusation they're saying, I confess it as sin and I ask the blood of Jesus to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Whatever Lord that they're accusing me of, I confess it as sin and I ask the blood of Jesus to cleanse Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. They say you're aggressive. Lord, I confess that aggression is sin. And I ask that the blood of Jesus cleanse it. Let aggression be nailed to the cross. They say that you hate people. Lord, I confess the hatred is sin. And I ask the blood of Jesus to cleanse it. Whatever they are gossiping about. They said, oh, you, you betrayed us. You turned against us. Lord, I confess it as sin. I ask the blood of Jesus to cleanse the sin. Let the sin be nailed. Nailed to the cross of Calvary in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. 
Whether it's your spouse, your husband is accusing you of things. Lord, I confess it as sinner. I plead the blood of Jesus and I nail it to the cross. Whether it's your wife, whatever they've said against you, confess it as sin, nail it to the cross. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whatever, even your children, are your children speaking accusations against you? Lord, I confess them as sin. I plead the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus be applied to every accusation, whatever they've accused us of mighty God. Whatever, Lord, we are being accused of. They said you don't care about them. Lord, I confess it as sinner. Let it be nailed to the cross. They said you didn't look after them. Lord, we confess it as sin. We nail it to the cross. They said you are stingy. You don't give. Lord, we confess it as sinner. We plead the blood of Jesus. Let every accusation, oh God, be cleansed from my life. Whatever I'm accused with, Lord, I confess it as sin. I confess all accusations as sin. Whatever accusations have been presented in the courts of heaven against any of us, Lord, we confess every accusation as sin. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, every accusation, whatever they are, they are saying about us, Lord, we confess it as sin. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever, oh God, will stand against us in the courts of heaven. We are confessing it as sin this morning. We are confessing it as sin. We plead the blood of Jesus. Let the blood be applied to every failure. To every failure. Every transgression. Every transgression. Father Lord, whatever I pray, mighty God, whatever would stand against any of us here in the courts of heaven, whatever would be the reason that the evil genius ruler of this world resists our destiny in this 2024, Lord, we are pleading the blood of Jesus and we ask that the blood of Jesus be applied to the sin and the failure in the mighty name of Jesus. Cleanse us, O oh God. Cleanse us of every form of unrighteousness. Wash us with the washing of the water by the word. Perfect that which concerns us. Every legal ground the enemy has through our own behavior, through the behaviors of our bloodlines. Mighty God, we pray. Let mercy triumph over judgment. Let mercy triumph over judgment. Holy Spirit, you are the spirit of knowledge. There is nothing hidden from you. Lord, search our bloodlines. Whatever legal grounds are existing in our bloodlines, Lord, please reveal them right now and let as you reveal the blood of Jesus be applied to them in the name of Jesus. You are the spirit of wisdom. You are the spirit of understanding. You are the spirit of revelation. You are the spirit of counsel. Lord, Lord, reveal reveal anything that Satan is using against us and let the blood of Jesus be applied to it right now in the name of Jesus. Let every agenda of Lucifer for 2024 be answered by the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's go to Isaiah 59. Isaiah 59. I'm reading Amplified Version. The Bible says from verse 1, Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save, nor is his ear so impaired that it cannot hear. But your wickedness has separated you from your God. And your sins have hidden his face from you so that it does not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with wickedness, with sin, with injustice, with wrongdoings. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue mutters wickedness. No one sues righteously, but the, for the sake of doing injury to others, to take some undue advantage. And no one pleads his case in truth, but rather they trust in empty arguments and speak lies. They conceive trouble and then they give birth to injustice. In the King James, it says they conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. Iniquity is crookedness. It's wickedness. It's being bent to do evil. It's rebellion. You know, it's like somebody's pr pregnant. They are pregnant with mischief and then they give birth to iniquity. It says in verse five, they hatch vipers eggs and weave the spider's webs. He who eats of their eggs dies. 
and from an egg which is crushed, a viper breaks out. You know a viper is a dangerous, poisonous snake, right? It says their webs will not serve as clothing, nor will they cover themselves with what they make. Their works are works of wickedness, of sin, of injustice, of wrongdoing. And the act of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to do evil and they rush to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of wickedness, of sin, of injustice, of destruction, of wrongdoing. Devastation and destruction are in their highways. They do not know the way of peace. And there is no justice in their tracks. They have made them into crooked paths. Whoever walks on them does not know peace. Child of God, this could be a description of some of our bloodlines. This could be a description of some of our nations, of the things we see in our countries, of the things we read about that have happened in our governments, in the seat of power. Some of the things are happening in what they claim to be the church of God. I want us to pray to the Lord in repentance for all these things that are listed here. The hand of the Lord is not too short that he cannot save. His ear is not impaired. God doesn't have a hearing impairment that he cannot hear our prayers. I want us to repent. From verse 2, we take it one by one and we come by repentance and ask the blood of Jesus to prevail over all these sins, transgressions and iniquities. In verse 2, he says, your wickedness has separated you from your God and your sins have hidden his face from you so that it does not hear. I want us to pray. Father God, every wickedness of my life, of my bloodline, of my nation, the nation of my birth, the nation of my residence that has separated us from our God. All the sins that I've hidden God's face from our nation, from our communities, from our bloodlines. Lord, we confess it this morning as evil and we pray the blood of Jesus to cleanse, cleanse our bloodlines, cleanse our nations, oh God. Whatever is being done by our presidents, by our prime ministers, by our governors, by our senators, by our mayors. Lord, we are pleading the blood of Jesus, whatever is being done in our villages, in our communities, that is evil. Lord, we are praying the blood of Jesus. Every sinner that has hidden the face of God from our nations, from our communities, from our bloodlines, we plead the blood. We are asking the blood of Jesus to cleanse. It says in verse three, for your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with wickedness, with sin, with injustice, with wrongdoing. Your lips have spoken lies and your tongue matters wickedness. Let's repent uh, on behalf of our bloodlines, on behalf of our nations. Uh, Father God, uh, where our hands have been defiled with blood, uh, where there are killings, uh, gun crime, knife crime, oh God, stabbings, uh, all sorts of things. Uh, where Lord God Almighty, our hands are defiled with blood. Uh, just yesterday, I was reading about... um a mother and a daughter who have been murdered. Oh Lord, every day there is a, a Twitter handle, you know, what they call X now. There is a Twitter handle that is called Counting Dead Women here in the UK. And if you go on it, you see how many women are killed by their husbands every day or brothers. How many women are killed by boyfriends, by men. There is a lot of shedding of innocent blood. Lord, we repent. We plead the blood of Jesus upon our land, upon our nations. Lord God Almighty, what about abortions? How many abortions are committed in our bloodlines? How many abortions are committed in the land, how much child sacrifice goes on through abortions. The Lord Almighty said that you shall not pass your children through fire, but how many babies are killed and incinerated and passed through fire and then Molech is empowered and then the Baal worshippers are empowered. Father, we are pleading the blood. We are pleading the blood where our nation is defiled with the blood of innocent people. Where fingers are defiled with wickedness, with sin, with injustice. Lord, where lips have spoken lies. How many lies have people told in our bloodlines, in our lineages? How many lies have we told? How many lies have been told by our prime ministers, our presidents, our members of parliament? How many lies? Father, we are pleading the blood. Let these lies, oh God, be cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Wherever the tongue is muttering wickedness. Some people are not speaking it out loud, but under their breath, they are speaking wickedness. 
wickedness. Father, we are pleading the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Father God, where no one sues righteously, but they sue for the sake of doing injury to others, we are pleading the blood. Lord God Almighty, where people take undue advantage over others, we are pleading the blood. Lord, everyone in our bloodlines, in our nations, who is taking advantage of other people, we are pleading the blood of Jesus. Makarabosia, for every empty argument and speaking lies, conceiving trouble and bringing forth iniquity and injustice. Father, we play the blood of Jesus. Wash, wash, oh God. Wash. The Bible says they hatch vipers' eggs. Our Lord God Almighty, wherever in our bloodlines we are giving breath to vipers' eggs, where there is deadly snakes in our bloodlines, we are praying blood of Jesus. Cleanse and wash, Lord. Bible says when an egg is crushed, a viper breaks out. Father God, whoever is hatching evil in our bloodlines, in our nations, we are sweeping it away with a broom of God's destruction. Let the broom of destruction sweep away these wicked eggs. The Bible says when you crush that egg, a snake comes out. A dangerous, poisonous snake comes out. Father God, we refuse for evil eggs to be hatching evil in our midst. We refuse for witches and wizards to be giving birth to more witches and wizards. Father, let the broom of destruction sweep them away. Sweep them from our bloodlines. Sweep them from our presence. Every satanic spider's web that is being woven, to arrest the, the, the destinies of God's children. Every evil web. Lord God Almighty, we use the broom of destruction and we sweep it away. We sweep away the web of evil. The web of satanic agendas. The webs of wickedness, sin and injustice. We sweep them away. The webs of violence. We sweep them away. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray blood of Jesus. Wherever in our nations, people's feet run to do evil. And they run to shed innocent blood. According to Isaiah 59. Seven. Father, we are pleading the blood. We are pleading the blood. Let the broom of destruction sweep away these things in the name of Jesus. Where they don't know the way of peace and there is no justice in their tracks. Father, let the blood of Jesus cleanse. Cleanse our bloodlines. Cleanse our nations in the mighty name of Jesus. Cleanse, oh God. Let Messiah Jesus be enthroned on our bloodlines. Let Messiah Jesus be enthroned in our communities, in our nations. May our nation submit to his truth. In the name of Jesus, we say, be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors, you ancient gates, be lifted up. The gates of our bloodlines be lifted up. Let the King of Glory come in. Let the King of Glory rule over our bloodlines. Let the King of Glory come in. Let him rule and reign over my bloodlines. Every bloodline I'm connected to by birth, by marriage, by covenant relationship. Let Jesus rule. Jesus Jesus rule in righteousness over our communities, over our nations. Rule in righteousness. For your ways are not our ways. Your thoughts are not our thoughts. Come and rule with your righteousness. Come and rule with your truth. Come and rule with your goodness. May everyone fear the name of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. He says in Isaiah 50, Five in Isaiah 55 from verse 8, the Lord said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your, your ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Let's begin to invite the Lord. That Lord, uh, let your thoughts reign supreme in my life. Uh, let your thoughts reign supreme in my nation, in my community. Lord, may we follow your ways. Uh, may you rule, O oh God. Uh, may your ways, O oh God, be what is established in my life. Uh, in in this year 2024 I don't want to follow my own ways I don't want to follow the ways of the people around me but I want to follow the ways of the Lord mighty God may your ways be established in my life your ways that are higher than my ways may they be established in my life everything I do may it be underpinned by your ways may I think the thoughts of almighty God when I sit down to meditate and think may I think the thoughts that are above 
above that thoughts that are higher than my thoughts by the power of the Holy Spirit. In this year, O God, transform me, O God, transform me. May I be in tune with your thoughts and with your ways. Transform my bloodlines, O God. May our bloodlines be in tune with your ways and with your thoughts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Isaiah 55 verse 12 and 13. The Lord said, For you will go out with joy and be led forth by the Lord himself with peace. The mountains and the hills will break forth into shouts of joy before you. And all the trees of the field will clap their hands for you. Instead of the thorn bush, the cypress tree will grow. Cypress tree is an evergreen tree. And instead of the nettle, the nettle is the thorny tree, isn't it? The myrtle tree will grow. The myrtle is another evergreen. And it will be a memorial to the Lord for an everlasting sign of his mercy, which will not be cut off. You know, I want you to prophesy over yourself in this year, you know, 2024 and say, I am going out through this year with joy. I am led forth by the Lord himself with peace. Begin to prophesy that scripture over yourself, over your family. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father God, we thank you that you are the one leading us. We are going out with joy. We are going out with peace. We are going out, oh God, with your great grace. In the name of Jesus, you are leading us yourself with peace because you are Jehovah Shalom. The mountains and the hills will break forth into shouts of joy before us. All the trees of the field will clap their hands for us. Nature will celebrate us. Nature will work for our favor. All the forces of heaven and earth will work for our favor. Instead of the thorn bush, the cypress tree will grow. Instead of the nettle, the myrtle tree will grow. It will be a memorial to the Lord for an everlasting sign of his mercy, which will not be cut off. We are like that tree that has been planted by the streams of living water, we are ready to bring forth our fruit in its season. That's what an evergreen tree does. An evergreen tree, it never dries up. There's never a season where it loses its leaves. Even in the winter, you see the evergreen trees, they always have leaves on. I was driving across with my children one day and we were driving past a place where there are a lot of evergreen trees and they, they pointed it out. Mommy, mommy, look, that tree is the only tree with leaves on. It's the only tree that is green. All the other trees are bare. In the winter, they lose all their leaves and it just remains what looks like a bunch of sticks. But the evergreen, it remains green. It doesn't lose any of its leaves, no matter the season. Child of God, this is how we ought to be in this year 2024, planted by the streams of living water. We are ready to bring forth fruit in our season. Our leaf will not fade or wither. Everything we do shall prosper in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. The evergreen is not influenced by the environment or the circumstances, whether it's summer, winter, spring, snow, whatever. The evergreen is always evergreen. Lord, may we be that tree uh, that has been planted uh, to bring forth fruit uh, in this year 2024 in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. Uh, let's go ahead and begin to worship him. Uh, we worship him this morning uh, because he answers prayer. We worship him this morning uh, that every prayer we pray, uh, our God hears us uh, when we knock on the doors. Uh, the doors are opened unto us. Uh, we are favored this year is our year of experiencing the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Mighty God, God, I thank you for answered prayers. I thank you for transforming our bloodlines. I thank you for transforming our families. I thank you because by the blood of the Lamb, we are candidates of miracles. We are candidates of miracles, signs, and wonders. Blessed be your name forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus.